Chris talking about that as well. It's making swimming training a little bit more interesting. Mark spends a lot of time traveling around the world. He, he goes to, to Miami a lot to train out in Florida. Um, he goes and trains with other sprint specialists around the world. And he does an awful lot of work in the gym as well. You know, it's fantastic to see him back again. I have to say, I've got butterflies in my stomach. We nearly lost him to British Swimming four years ago. And here he is on his fifth Olympic Games this summer. And really, it should have been six, because he only managed to miss the last Olympic Games by one one hundredth of a second. And with his experience, I think he should have gone. So it's just so exciting. And, and when he gets announced, this stadium is going to be electric. Well, his opponent's coming out, and he will be last out, Mark Foster, because he is the fastest qualifier for the final of the men's 50-metre freestyle. The fastest, and he's got four gold medals in this event so far over history. The first in 1993. He also won in 99, 2000, and 2004. He's got two silver medals as well. But there's some very, very quick guys. And to be quite frank, Adrian, I don't think he starts as favourite for this final. No, you're right. We, we see, we've seen uh, lane one come out already. You'll see him when we stand up. DJ Draganja of Croatia is a favourite. Lockt is going to be tough. Nice yellow shoes, I don't think. But Lockte, very tough. Swam a lot of races this meet. He's going to do the 200 medley later on. A good all-rounder. Milans is not, he's not shabby. He is a big boy. He's even bigger than Foster. But Draganja in lane one is going to be strong. You know, I still think Foster can, can get it. I still do. I'm, I'm backing him. Well, the difference that I've seen from Foster here is just so much more self-confident and loves the crowd, milking the crowd. He's playing to the crowd, and I've got to say, he used to be very shy, but he's not shy now. Straight off with his tracksuit top. He's gone to the zip version. Obviously, he's been listening to us in the commentary box, not taking the top over his head and removing his, uh, or moving his cap. But Mark Foster, can he win his fifth 50 freestyle title? There's Lochte of the USA, third fastest qualifier. My worry, though, is right at the top. He's got a very good lane. It's Draganja of Croatia. He's defending champion, Olympic silver medalist in the 53. There's Foster. He looks focused. He looks strong. He looks ready to go. Well, if ever there was a time for him to do it, it's right now. No, absolutely. Foster taking a big, deep breath. Just adjusting his cap, got two caps on. Goggle strap underneath the second cap to minimize the resistance as much as possible. And he's got a good start. Foster has to get a good start. He has to do what he can do here. Well, he has to do everything that he can do. The best he's ever done it, I think, because I think Draganja at the top. Draganja actually on the left-hand side of that shot. Olympic silver medalist, awfully quick. There's Foster. Final of the men's 50 freestyle. Oh, a nice clean start as well. And a good start from Foster. First up in the water, Mark Foster right in the centre. A very long, languid turnover stroke. Let's see how he hits the turn. First over there was Draganja at the top. Draganja's absolutely flying at the top. Draganja leading for Croatia. Mark Foster's still going well. He's in for a medal. He still could win it. It's going to be Draganja, though. Draganja, 20.81. It's a new world record for Draganja. I was worried about him. I have to say, though, Adrian, I did not think he'd go that fast. A massive world record on the 50 metres freestyle the silver I think it's gone to Foster it has gone to Foster 21 31 oh what a swim for Foster well if you're going to get beaten get beaten by a world record absolutely that was the only thing that was going to beat Foster tonight well you, you cannot take it away from Giganja we, we, we knew that we knew that he was the threat but Foster to make a comeback after having a couple of years out it's a great result to get a silver medal, but Draganja is a very, very fast guy. You, you, you call it silver medal at the Olympic Games. Trains in the States, trained at Cal Berkeley. Very, very quick. I mean, and, and you, you know what? He, he, hadn't, he didn't look like he was going to lose this, did Draganja? At the turn, normally they all hit the turn together, but Draganja already had it, maybe point one, point two. Well, he flew out, he really did. He's helping Mark Foster out. Oh, that's great to see. That's absolutely wonderful to see the champion successfully defending his title on the left-hand side there, Duja Draganja, asking Mark to undo his suit. But right at the top, well, Draganja got the best start, he got the best first 25, he got the best turn, and flew back, and that is how to do a 50 freestyle. Yeah, going in here to the turn, Draganja at the top. They've got to get under the wave. Look here, watch the waves go into the wall. Easily to get underneath it. Draganja 
His arms just thrashing through, looking scooping. We talked about this earlier. The hands there really grabbing hold of the water, spearing in. Just really, it's like pulling yourself past the pole, getting hold of something and just grabbing the water. And Giganja did not look like losing that from almost the first five metres, as you said, Andy. Very emotional victory. And a world record as well. And he's taken it by 12 one hundredths of a second, which doesn't sound much, but let me tell you, it's an awful long way on 50 freestyle, and it means an awful lot as well. World record, world short course champion. Oh, yes. World champion, men's 50 freestyle, Duja Draganja of Croatia. Brilliant silver medal for Foster, though, and the bronze to South African Zandberg. So, at the moment, the crowd is saying Foster and Draganja being interviewed. Locked to getting fourth place. Here we go for the start. That's Foster. Quite a good reaction. And he comes up very quickly. He's almost like a hovercraft on top of the water. I think he's done really well in, in improving even at his age. He, he keep on thinking about reinventing, innovating the stroke. He's changed it since he's come back. His stroke is better. It's improved. And he's still swimming really, really quickly for a 37-year-old block, I'm telling you. Well, he comes up very quick now. Look at that clear water on a 50 freestyle. Very unusual indeed. Well, Draganja, brilliant swim. And Mark Foster, super silver. It's a suit. Me <laughs> Is it the suit that makes so tight that they're actually bleeding there? Oh, dear. Never mind. It's only a tiny bit. And it doesn't matter when you set a world record, does it? Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, all that matters is that moment when you step on the blocks. Yesterday I had, I had a horrible start and a bad uh, turn, but today everything set in the right place. No waves outside lane, and I knew I had it. It took a world record to beat you. Yeah, well, I thought it would, but I mean, with the new suits and everything coming out, I mean, time's always going to be quick here, but I knew when he pulled out this morning, which like, he was meant to be in my heat, and I saw he wasn't here, and I thought, He's in bed resting for this tonight. <laughs> and uh, no respect goes to him. He's a you know, Olympic silver medalist. He was, uh, it was always going to be out the two of us, but biggest respect. Great swim. I think what, what was he saying? Your 47th major medal at, at an international competition. So I guess it was worth coming back for this one. Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I've always, part of me always wanted to get to 50. So here, 47, I can get back in the fly tomorrow. And that was damage limitation, trying not to do too much and save a bit for this, but... Hey, I think as silver is as good as it was going to get tonight against that sort of performance. Hey, and you got a 50 fly coming, which you nearly pulled out as well. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> it's the first, actually, first race I've done on fly really for almost a year, so that's just a fun event. Just very quickly, what do you think of this old man of British swimming? I mean, he's just a great uh, example. Know, everybody were asking me who was, uh, who was one of my favourite guys in swimming, and he was always the one, because I took something from him, and that's an outside lane gamble. He was always gambling on SLA when I was still a little kid, so I took that from him and it worked today. So thanks, Mark. Thanks for racing. Well done. Fantastic. Love to watch it.